plenty of time for the complexity of this race to change. Look at Vern sending it there to the outside of his teammates into go. seven. Does defend. Oh, and Tony Pierce de Costa getting roughed up here by Jake Dennis, who gets his elbows out through turn one and turn two and gets up into fourth place. That was class by Dennis. Oh, and looking for the move there through the outside of the left handed king. It's going to give him the inside line into four, and Mitch Evans in the Jaguar takes the lead away. Sam Berger is leading him, he's lifting massively on the straight. Other guys are stopping at the apex. That's a dangerous game to play though, because the car behind can hit you, doesn't stop in time, hits you and causes some damage. As you see, a bit of argy bargy going on now, at the third and fourth. Yeah, Pascal Verline it is that's making the move here on uh, Mitch Evans. Evans just on his left hand side. You've got Felix da Costa in the mix there as well. This is great for Antonio Felix da Costa to be fighting up the sharp end as we go side by side into seven. Evans just gets fed to the outside there and now sits in a Porsche sandwich. Top three going into attack mode, and look at what that has done. It has released the rest of the field, including Sam Bird. You've got Mitch Evans in there as well as Stoffel Van Dorn. And it is anybody's guess as to who's going to be last on the brakes. It's Mitch Evans on the inside into turn four. The Jaguar driver taking the lead away from Bird. Extra temperatures keeping with them within that right operating window. Say critical right now is that Abu Cooper and Nico Willow, the front wing is underneath the car scraping along. If that goes under the front wheels, he's going to lose steering and brakes. Do you think there's a case for a black and white flag? I would like to say. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Just Dennis get off the fence there, fella. Oh, where? Verlang got fed into, the, into the, the slippery part of the track. Well, normally it'd be great to be in the same position. You can see this as we go three wide through the left-handed king. They're all jostling for places here. And the upshot is it's now Bird in attack mode, extra power available, but is that going to be an advantage or a hindrance? Let's have a look at Oliver Rowland over the line in the chaos of what we saw uh, through the first corner. This was his view of the podium. Oh, oh look at that! Expert. That's a switch back and a half, that right? is. Uh, they teach that, you learn that at the karting track. And um, yeah, he learned it well, did Oliver Rowland. But who is going to take the win of round four of the E3? And look at Bird going for the outside. Surely he's not going to make that stick on Mitch Evans into turn 10. Bird's done it. Absolutely amazing from Sam Bird. He comes around the final corner to win here in Sao Paulo. Sam Bird takes his first victory since 2022. Let's have a, have a look at this. Look, I, mean, he's, I thought, oh, he's done it. And then Mitch has obviously had to lift for energy. And Sam just... Around the outside. At this point, you're thinking, oh, he's on the dirty part of the track. As he said, though, Mitch Evans, totally fair, raced him. Abs didn't give him any room, but didn't push him wide. Fantastic stuff from both guys. What a finish to that race. I thought it was all over.